Uh, just some information for council and the residents, actually. Um, on Saturday, April 7th, myself, the mayor and council president will be attending a school board meeting with the board of school directors, school principals, and district central office personnel. Um, it's being held in the It's not open to the general public. They're going to discuss their 2018-2019 budget, PA fair funding lawsuit that they have right now. They're also going to discuss the earned income tax again. Um, my understanding is they move, they are moving forward with this to start taking a half of the 1% of earned income, which will leave a hole in our budget of $700,000. So I am in the process of getting as much data together as I possibly can. I've been working with members in the county from the planning department, of getting maps showing senior citizens, maps showing income areas and so forth of all six surrounding boroughs. Um, my understanding also is that the board members for the borough of Darby are in favor of this, of taking a half percent. Um, I hope you do know of what kind of consequences of the school district taking a half a percent of our 1% will do to this borough. Not only us, but what it would do to surrounding municipalities. Uh, Colwyn does not have a 1%, Alden does not have a 1%, and Lansdowne Borough does not have a 1%. They would have to enact a 1%. It's, easy for, it's easier for them because they can just blame the school district. Um, and you got to remember that your mill's worth about $146,000, so you will be looking at a possible tax increase of close to five mills to make up the gaping hole that this would leave. So you're probably looking at roughly about $500, $450 to $500 tax increase per household. No. No. This has to deal strictly with the William Penn School District taking a half of the 1% of the earned income tax, which we've collected. We've talked about this many years ago. In the we've old known building. about it and did nothing. The question was asked that what would happen ever if the school district has ever considered this? And I, my brother Joe made the comment, we would almost have to shut the doors because of such a gaping hole it would leave for us. And this hole is big, not only for us, for Yaden, for East Lansdowne, it'll help Lansdowne, Colwyn, and Alden, but I just can't see all of them stuff wanting to institute a 1%. Um, it will affect the senior citizens, especially the ones that are retired or on a, on a fixed income, have a budget. Now they, they don't have to pay into the 1% because they're not, they're not earning over $12,000 or more because the social security doesn't matter, but you're gonna be increasing taxes so high that they're not gonna be able to afford to pay the taxes on their house. Um, Sell to Taj so Mahal. basically what's happening is the pull point of taking a half a percent of a one percent is so the school district won't raise taxes. Now the only school district in Delaware County that does this is Pendelco School District and they did it back in the early late 80s. And it's great, yeah, they didn't raise taxes for about three years, they've raised taxes every year since. So the point of you know the whole point of this is so you don't raise tax anymore but all they're doing is just shifting the burden from the school district to the municipality and you can argue that they have well they're having problems with the pension they're having problems with health care well municipalities have problems with the pension municipalities have problems with the health care so everybody's in the same boat here now is the state funding incorrect absolutely uh, you know will we fight that with them sure but the fact of them trying to take a half of our one percent is I'm just, I'm putting it out there, Steve, putting it out to you the now of what could possibly happen now. It does have to go to a referendum. It does have to be voted on. But, you know, we need to educate our school board members on what kind of consequences that us, we will face here in Darby. And I think the other municipalities need to educate their school board members on the same thing, what this will do to the local municipalities. So... So I will have more to report. Uh, obviously, the meeting's next Saturday. They have only invited three people, the mayor, council president, and borough manager. So I will be there, and I will report more at the next council meeting on it. And 
give you a status update of where they're at. Thanks. Okay, first thing coming off the school board is the, uh, the feeling is that Darby doesn't need it. So I implore you guys to please go out to these meetings. Unfortunately, the meeting is tonight. It's not unfortunately, because we can all make it. Is the meeting's tonight at 7.30, and you're going to be over here discussing it tonight as well. Yeah, don't forget budget committee meetings. Absolutely, the budget committee meetings. They're the important ones that they speak.